Well, if there's a homeowner or a property owner who comes to us and has a problem on their yard, flooding, erosion, drainage, whatever it might be, one of the first things we do is go and look at the soil survey. What is the soil survey? It's a map of all the soil types within Fairfax County and a bunch of associated data tables that tell us a little bit about that soil type. Basically, how deep it is, where the bedrock might be below the surface, where we might find groundwater, or what we call the water table, uh, whether it's a highly erosive soil, whether it's not very erodible, uh, things like that. It's a great start to figure out uh, the correct diagnosis for that person's soil problem. So I've got a page from the soil survey. There's about 400 of these in the soil survey in total. So this is just a very, very small part of the total soil survey map. But let's say we have a homeowner who lives way up in the northern part of Fairfax County near the Potomac River, and they say, I'm having a lot of flooding, and I live right here. I would go to that map and see what kind of soil type is mapped there. And this says 39E. What does that mean? Well, you have to know a little something about the soil survey in order to figure out what these numbers mean. We're not going to print the soil type right on the map itself. I happen to know that 39E stands for Glen Elk Silt Loam. If you're looking at the map for the first time, you wouldn't know that. So there's a legend associated with the map. You'd have to find that number and letter, 39E, go to the legend, and the legend would tell you what that means, what soil type that designates. The number, 39, stands for the soil type, in this case, Glen Elk Silt Loam. The letter at the end, in this case, E, stands for the slope of that soil. So an E slope is a slope of 25% or more. That's a very, very, very steep soil. There are other types of soil, 39D, 39C. They're all Glen Elg, but they're on different slope classes, maybe 15 to 25% slope or 7 to 15% slope. That's what the soil legend will tell you. Now, this person has 39E soil on their property. That's telling me that the soil is very, very, very steep. Basically, they have their house on a very, very steep hillside. That is not an area where we would expect to find flooding. So we'd have to do a little bit more analysis because a really steep slope generally tends to send water off very, very quickly and the water goes downhill, downhill, downhill and away. It doesn't usually stay on that soil. So the soil map is telling us one thing, the soil, the property owner is telling us something else. But what we find with the soil map is it's a great first step, but we still have to go to the property in order to look because the soil map will not tell us a huge amount of detail. It tells us general information. What generally is the soil type in this area? But if we go to the property, we might find, oh, there's a little depression in the backyard where the water is pooling, and we wouldn't be able to tell that from the soils map. So the soils map is a great first step. It tells you the general soil type that's there and some of the general problems you can expect. But you also have to go to the property to look around and do a site-specific survey, a site-specific look at the property in order to tell exactly what the problem is.